handsome. Yeah, that's Beanie's chair. What a good boy. Yeah, he's very good. Joining us for stream. He wasn't here. And then he was here, but he wasn't in his chair. And then I was like, come on. I think he's starting to realize that he gets lots of treats and pets when I'm streaming. Welcome on in, everybody. <clears throat> a little bit hoarse. Well, it works itself out. Um, gonna get started here very shortly. Nail, nails, okay. I mean, I may have to rant about this a little bit. I'm gonna try and just like summarize. We need to do another New Year's Eve manicure. So that's what's gonna be happening today as soon as I do the usual start of stream things like doing a quick tweet doing a quick discord and reminding future viewers that if you're watching on YouTube you can subscribe to my simple little pleasures and if you'd like to join me live you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP so still kind of trying to keep a close eye on my on my internet hi excuse me hello Bane what's up <laughs> Hi there. How you doing, sir? What? 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 <laughs> okay. It's apparently beanie time. Hello. I mean, he's he didn't really give me much choice here. Whoa. Oh, hey, you can see his paws right there. He's, he just, he forced himself into my lap. I have no choice. I have no choice here, son. But to, but to cuddle a bean. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yeah. Yes, hello. Can I do my nails? Is it allowed? Hey, two dudes. Why, why you wait until I start streaming to do this? Can you guys hear him? He's a loud purr. Hey, Sparkly. We, uh, we've encountered a delay. Um, I, w I was insisted to pet a certain gray boy. <laughs> Very forcefully. Oh, Benny, you heavy. Have you had a busy holiday, Sparkly? Well, busy life in general sounds like. So today, you guys, we'll I'll just I'll just explain. <laughs> he is he literally like he got in his chair and then he literally like stepped up on the arm of my computer chair, and was like, "Hey, hey, hey," and then he like jumped up here. And now he's just thoroughly inserted himself upon my lap. The, okay, so my other hand looks just like this. And it's really some bullshit. I lost all these peelies. I lost two peelies before stream. I lost like four peelies during stream. We've lost a total of six peelies on this manicure that I didn't even like. It was sparkly. It was great. Except, okay, sparkly. Okay, let me, where's, hold on. Um, where's my control for the, I should have had this open already, bro, stream remove. Um, okay, let me zoom in a little bit. How many colors of glitter do you see? The focus is probably not gonna cooperate. But you can, 
Maybe I should turn off the autofocus. <laughs> Beanie. <sighs> okay, boy. It, it almost wants to focus. I mean, the camera just has trouble with things this sparkly. Son, did you name color just change or am I tripping? No, it changed. I can see. I have confirmation before my eyes. There are three colors of glitter here. Three. I can see them with my eyeballs when I look closely. But from a distance and on camera, this just, being you're really shedding. Why don't you, okay. Can you get back in, can you get back in your chair, buddy? Can you, no. You, you want to get back in your chair? <laughs> hmm? Maybe? Thinking about it? Yeah, see, Beanie has his own chair over here. It's his very own chair. It's just for Beanie. Come on. Come on. Get in Beanie's chair. Get in Beanie's chair. Yay, thank you. Good boy. I need to brush him later. Maybe I should add, maybe I should add brushing Bean as something to spend your points on. Would you guys, would you guys pay channel points to see me brush the little gray boy? Oh goodness, I didn't get that very well back on him. Okay. Oh, caters with the tr with the beanie treat redemption. He, I mean, like he likes to like you guys kind of saw he likes to like snuggle up on me so that I gotta like kind of support him so he doesn't like just slide right down out of my lap. I don't know. And he is. He's hung. He's he's heavy. He's a chunky boy. But these treats are only two calories per treat. And you only get a maximum of three treats per stream, chunky boy. He's still purring so loud. He's happy. Hold, hold on. Hold, hold on. Give, sit. Benny, Benny, sit. Sit. Okay, good boy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that you on camera. My apologies. I don't understand. Hey, Google, no one was talking to you. Okay. They're always listening. Benny, sit. Good boy. Yes, you said a good boy. I'm sorry. I know. It was a very long delay. That treat is from Caters. He's a good boy. <laughs> oh. So, would you stop? So, you see the little, it's below the chat window, the little polish bottle. I renamed mine polish bottles because of course like why not and they're they're like practically brand new they were they were in beta for maybe a month or two and then they rolled out to everybody on the 16th so they're brand new and you can do stuff like if you're not a sub in a channel you can use points to unlock emotes which i think is really cool you can also use points to um alter emotes so you could like put a santa hat on an emote or put sunglasses on an emote or flip an emote in reverse um and you can also set custom ones like those are the regular ones i suppose uh, you can turn those off too like if you for some reason don't want people to be able to do that but why the hell not why would you not want to let people that you know can't necessarily subscribe but support your stream by being there like redeem these points to get some emotes i think i think it's fabulous and I hope they continue to expand what you can do with them. But I wanted to put in some custom ones. So I put in for Beanie Treats and Beanie Pets. 
and uh it seems everybody seems to really like it people were trolling people were people were doing beanie pets during my p5 run <laughs> stop in the middle of your p5 and pet beanie oh, where'd you go i was gonna reach over and pet him and he's gone damn it he was stealthy too i didn't even hear him he's like oh you think i'm chunky i can still jump down and you won't hear me so also maybe i'm superstitious maybe i'm just trying to come up, come up with an excuse but i realize now that this manicure of which we have four four nails left was cursed from the start because of the large paper towel so i was very smart and i got the select a size roll of paper towels before i started stream and the start of the roll is almost as bad as the end of the roll, TBH. Let's put these away. Cause I don't, like I can't use a ripped paper towel. I mean, I could, I, I mean, I'm not gonna like throw them away. I, I just mean like for recording a tutorial, that would be really janky. I'm sure Beanie will throw up and give me cause to be thankful I have a couple of spare imperfect paper towels laying around. All right, so properly sized paper towel <laughs> oh no son has fighting cats <clears throat> oh no I suppose there's not that many either is like what like a, probably a two stall type of a type of a situation Hey zebra. So I do actually have, I think this is all the peelies. Like they came off clean y'all. Oh God, the camera just can't. Okay, let's, can you focus here? Let's turn off the autofocus. So, but again, even on like the thumbnail, it's just reading shiny. You're not. Camera's not picking up all the colors of glitter. And even in person, like it's hard to see. So. But I really liked this idea. I, I liked this idea. I, I thought it had potential. I mean, we did tests. We knew it was going to look like this. And yet somehow I didn't know it was going to look like this. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, Dr. Crotron talked about this too when he was working on like his Gundam stuff. I forget it was some Gundam stream. Like the, you know, the half used paper towel stack. If you don't have one of those, I have to say, you're probably a wasteful person and you should have one. Because <laughs> it's so useful. Like if you have a paper towel, like the paper towels when I get done with a tutorial and they're like, you know, they got some acetone and stuff on them or whatever you don't want to use that for the next tutorial obviously but at the same time they're not like used up those are the ones that then end up underneath my acetone dish so that my my desk doesn't just totally dissolve by acetone i mean my de my desk is i don't want to say it's destroyed by polish its surface looks destroyed by polish in fact one of these right now can go into my acetone bowl but I don't want to make it any worse. So I try to always, it's probably better now that I stream because I always use like my miracle mat and uh, just have generally like not quite as messy with that around. Cause I mean, that really protects it better than any, this paper towel or whatever. Yeah. Oh, there we go for that one. I was going to say that one was being stubborn. See like these ones, Part of it too, like even though you see these glitters already coming off, even though I tried to be careful at the edges, even though I used two layers of top coat, fucking look at this. I had catchy edges. And that was quite unpleasant. Um, you know, just, you know, getting snagged on things and it's just like, I don't know, it feels very uncomfortable to me. So I wasn't happy with that. So... I was like, man, we gotta, we gotta redo this. But I don't want to just try and redo 
like the same thing or the same colors you know much as i loved these champagne colors okay i just had you on for two days I'm trying to debate i put some top coat just over the patched area just so it wouldn't like get too exposed to water i'm trying to decide if i actually need more patch on this though because it's got like a divot but it's it's holding i might just leave it this this nail this pat this break is at a crucial point um it's at a point where if it if it rips it could be painful or it could maybe almost be okay and i don't have any cotton over here hold on you guys one second Now, granted, I don't use as much cotton as I used to. I probably would have finished this thing off long ago if I was still using regular base coat on a regular basis. That salon size roll of cotton that I got from Sally Beauty like 10 years ago. If you look on my blog, there's like a post all about it. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm still using. Um, here we go. <clears throat> Oh, you've already used yours. Zebra Angel, mine is really, it's kind of hard to see. Like if I, if I tilt it, obviously it's gonna, it's gonna tilt with it. But you see, it's like halfway gone. If I just, if I just have it level like that, it's like halfway gone. I, but mine, I, I think I went through really quickly because like I used it almost exclusively for the 12 days of Christmas and a lot of that series was uh, stuff that needed two top coats. So now this this nail will determine when we cut our nails. When this patch fails, that's when I'm going to cut my nails. Or when it just looks shitty to like where it needs to be changed. I'm not I'm not doing another patch is what I'm saying. So let's get rid of this polish residue so my thought for the the redo of this manicure because i'm still going glitter i still want to go glitter i want to redeem this this was not in vain this was a learning experience i'm either gonna go golden black or silver and black it would be really nice to be able to to use this uh, Levi like we were thinking about but I don't know if that will clash with the gold hollow glitter that I plan on using yeah I really wish I don't know maybe she will come out with a like a bigger refill bottle at a at a more of a deal of a price because like basically is this like an Amazon delivery? Are you really? Or who? What? Yeah, I think so. We got a lot of snow. And I think it's pretty dumb of them to just stop like halfway crooked in the middle of the street. Because somebody could just easily slide into you and then you're crashed. But uh, you do you, Amazon delivery man. Um, Like the bottle on its own is what? I want to say it's $11. So that's already, call it twice as expensive as Sesh, as Sesh Feet. But then you got to pay shipping also, which probably you can either go to Sally's and get Sesh Feet or you can just like, you know, go to Amazon or whatever and get Sesh Feet. So then you got to pay shipping also. But then you look at the fact that you could get a refill bottle of Sesh Feet, which is four ounces, which is like eight bottles because the bottles are 0.5 ounces. And the last time I looked at the refill kit, I want to say it was $14. So you're telling me that I can have eight bottles of Sesh Vite for pretty much cheaper than one bottle of Super Glossy Hollow Taco. And I can't say that it's that much better. And I'm like, I love it. 
I love the super glossy taco, but it's it's out of my current price range. <laughs> I mean, could I, could I afford it? I mean, it's not like I'm I'm like you know destitute or anything. <laughs> I could afford it. I just I don't. I would feel really bad about it if I if I switched. Now, the Peely base we've had. I've talked about this before. The Peely base. I might have to switch to because I I prefer it to ready for takeoff. Um, still not a fan of having to pay shipping, but you know, I'm also going to have to, I mean, I'm going to have to get a, a bo- backup bottle or two of the one coat black. So measure everything in diapers. Yeah. You know, you just, some things you got to compare and it's like, is that worth it? And it's like, man, it's, it is better. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I think it's better, but it's not that much better. But the the Peely base, I like a lot, and the Peely base I might have to switch to and just bite the bullet on the shipping, or maybe I don't know. I mean, who knows what 2020 will bring? Maybe Hollow Taco will not always only be sold on Hollow Taco. Maybe they'll get with some stockists that order free shipping. That would make me happy. <clears throat> Yeah, sparkly. Wow. <laughs> I th- I think right now that might be I think the best case scenario would either be that she starts selling it in a larger bottle or that she starts selling Hollow Taco through stockists. But I don't I th- I think the larger bottle would be more likely at this time than the stockists cuz I don't think they have They're not producing at a quantity where they'd be able to really give that much to the stockist. And they're usually selling out on their own website as it is. So they don't really need like to go with a stockist for reach. I don't think, I don't know much about the nail polish industry, but that's, that's what it seems like logically to me. I mean, they're doing well with what they're doing. And I think she does what? the fuck it's this is it this fuck why can you can you see this it's like oh god it's gel oh I'm full of rage and confusion. Is it is it on this? I It's on this. What the fuck happened here? This is closed. Why is it leaking? Well, pa- apparently it's not closed. No, it's closed. Why is it leaking? Or was it, what, did I put it away dirty? Was I that dumb? Did I like, no, that, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I'm just, I, mm. Yeah, you can. It's in my it's in my polish essentials. Well, I think the the giant one is the one that is linked in my polish essentials. I'm I'm so baffled right now. How did this spill? And if it's spilled, how is it this contained? Or is it this contained? No. When did this happen? Is this? Yeah, it is. It's on here too. Destroyed my precious sugar plum tests. Oh, it's getting all over my fingers. Because it's gel. It's just sitting in here wet. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck's actual sake, dude. Okay, I think... I think that's the extent of stuff that has stuff on it. I, d I need to find everything because it's it's not it's never gonna dry like usually if you spill polish and, and you know eventually you forget about it like it dries up it's not a big deal this is just gonna be sitting in here wet forever if I'm missing anything that has any of it on it but I think we've got it all Ooh, this could be a possibility too Ooh, that's a sparkly gold okay okay See, these napkins are already coming in handy. These imperfect napkins. <laughs> yeah, I can see. I mean, I can see it with the hollow. Like, it's pretty comparably placed with a lot of indies that use, like, a lot of high-quality glitter. But I can't imagine what's in the base coat to make it that much more expensive than base coats that are comparable. I mean, I got all this around the neck, but it's not, like, it's not loose. What the fuck? Or is it just completely stuck where it is? No, it's, it was like, it was closed so tight it was hard to open. Was it just, is it, was it dirty when I closed it and it just like splooged totally out and I just never knew? I just, I just don't understand how this happened. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a bottle that didn't get fully closed. Like, I mean, I've done that many times. And like ruined polish. Cause it'll leak it'll leak out as much as it can possibly leak out and then it will uh, dry completely out okay I think that's clean enough to it's all it's it's mm, hold on here it's like all down in the uh, in the cap what happened to this polish? Okay, look how much nail polish is down here in the cap. What the fuck? I literally don't understand. I'm gonna have to throw all this away. I'm just trying to keep it contained. <laughs> I did I did that's why it was in the box I'm afraid to let this lay down anywhere I'm going to put it up here where it can't get knocked into <sighs> okay got on my toothbrush my my glitter toothbrush okay i might ha i might just have to cure this out well let's let's see if it'll wipe off let's wipe off this bottle first cuz that's what alerted me to it cuz i want to use it it's sitting there all covered in polish and then this has a bunch <sighs> I'm astonished with how much leaked out of a fully closed polish bottle like honestly
Well, I wonder if what happened is like, you know, in your painting and you go to stick your stick your uh, brush back in the bottle and you miss the bottle and it's like down the side of the bottle. Like, I wonder if that happened. Oh, maybe I can save this. And I just didn't notice or I noticed and it just didn't occur to me that, hey, this is a gel polish. That's not just going to dry and be not an issue. Okay. Oh. And it just ended up getting put away with like a glom of polish all along the side of it. Oh. <sighs> Hi Amethyst, I just, I just spent, I don't know how long, it probably wasn't even actually that long, but, okay, I missed. Oh, and I forgot to clean this off, god damn it. Spilled gel polish, that's what we're cleaning up right now. Okay. There, that's fine. It's fine! Okay. Yes, let's give you some beautiful things to look at. So, the plan is either silver or gold. We don't know which or what yet. Mm. Where did I literally put... Is this it? Yeah, okay. I thought that was the other roll. I'm confused. Okay. Gold plus... Hold on. Um, black. Plus... corresponding gold or silver glitter hollow glitter wait is this the hollow gold one it's not the silver is much more hollow Ooh, or that'd be a different size though i don't think i have that option for the silver or i mean i could also go like that direction hmm is there a black oh there is a black can't really tell these are these are kind of hollow i think I mean, I remember them being hollow. They really don't look hollow. Where's my flashlight? Oh, the rainbows are elusive. See? Okay. You just get like a... Okay, they're like not barely holographic. I'm catching rainbows every now and then. But it's very... Like, see, see right there? But I mean, compared to that or that, I mean, like they're like, they're like secretive. They're like hidden. Okay. We're not, we're not using that. No, no. Um... Yeah, I like the middle gold, but I don't know if it goes with either of these gold. Let's let's do some swatches. And let's get where those go. Let's get a few of these out again. Oh, these are dirty. 
Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Um. So. Okay. Here we go. We got our previous notes. What is today? The 30th? Version 2. The one thing I did very much like from that disaster that we endured, it wasn't really a disaster. I am covered with fur. I'm like belatedly noticing. is uh, applying it with the with the silicone tool. I liked how that turned out. So, let's do, let's do a couple silver spots. Let's do three silver spots. And then we'll do a couple of each of the golds also. This is Zoya Trixie, by the way, of course. Um, then we have Zoya Levi, which is a pixie dust, so they're a little bit textured. It's also hollow on its own, so there wouldn't be that contrast of strictly like a metallic base. And then, like a hollow in the middle, it would be like a two different kinds of hollow. We'll do like this. You can kind of tell. Well, I can kind of tell. I think, I don't know if the camera's quite catching it. It is a little bit. Like it's chunky. It's a little chunkier than the silver. The silver's going on pretty smooth. And then we've got uh, Carrie. This is a, like a really, really bright gold. Very metallic. Very, very shiny. And we'll do three of that also, I guess. Excuse me. Where did the Zoya clear go? Oh, there it is. So, gonna need some of the black. The the ebony. That's kind of more than I intended to pour. <laughs> I mean, it's very, very shiny. All right, then let's do let's do things with the silver first. Other small silver. Uh, where? Uh oh. Oh, here we. Uh oh. Oh no. Never mind. It's fine. Whoa. Okay. So. I love black glitter. I don't want to go all the way to the edges, so I wouldn't go all the way to the edges with the clear. Give it like a quick second to dry. 
And then I'm probably going to run into the same problems I did last. Do I still have that cup of water? I bet I do. Bet I do. Because imagine cleaning. The black will give a lot of contrast with either the silver or the gold. You know? Kind of rushing this. I should give it a little bit more time, but I'm impatient and it's just testing. So we do, we would start with a thicker thing of black. Let's do that on the golds too. Maybe not quite that thick. Maybe not quite that thick. Let's try to make it a little bit thinner on this one. Yeah, I'm really, whoa, I'm going way too fast because it's really chunking up on there like I'm getting a lot of wet polish on there, but it's fine. It'll be fine. And then the bright gold. <clears throat> thank you zebra no i got a lot of sleep i got to sleep by about like six my time and i slept until almost three so i, I got a full night's rest for once i feel like these are still too too wet maybe to pat with my finger we'll pat it with this try to make them smooth the the ones that i had on the ones that we just took off they were actually pretty smooth on the nail after two coats of top coat so that was successful and then down the middle of the black oh i should have done a black right there or a, yeah i should have done another black on the one below this too oh well we can do that in a minute Um, small silver. Oh, I forgot about the static electricity. Where is that cup of water? This one? Yes. Okay, that's where there's a couple floating and then there's some that are sunk to the bottom. What does that mean? Are they the different colors? No, they're all different colors. Okay. Hope this is still wet enough to stick. And then have like an accent of the silver hollow glitter right down the middle. I would need a denser layer than this to pick up like a good, a better amount. You guys kind of ooh, the camera's not liking this. I'm afraid to move the page too much too with the with these cups of glitter sitting right on top of it. So there's that. Okay, I need. Is there another lid in here? there's that lid. i don't feel like cutting any more down do i just have a couple of yeah okay i'm gonna use these these are huge see how big these are compared to the cup bottoms that's why i like using the cup bottoms and this, these two are stuck together Okay. 
So we got a couple different kinds of golds. Like I, I like that so far. Mm -hmm. Like the small gold is the one I was originally thinking of. We gotta be careful with these glitters, by the way. If that hasn't already been established on my channel. Yeah, last night's stream turned into a longer stream than I was... This is really tight. Okay. A longer stream than I was planning, because... I mean, I pretty much ooh, thought that I would go to God home and... Have a shitty time like I usually do. Not be able to beat Pure Vessel. And move along with my evening and go to bed early. But, like, I was actually doing pretty good against Pure Vessel. I can't believe... We got that far. I can't believe I beat AR. I just, I'm, I'm in a state of disbelief. Still kind of. So. See, I don't, I don't, I definitely don't like this gold with this gold. Well, we've got several that are in that clumpy, doing that clumpy thing, which sometimes is static electricity and sometimes is poorly cut glitter. No, I definitely don't like that gold with that gold. I'll give you guys a better shot when I don't have glitter on top of the page. Now this gold with this gold, I could see that more. Like, I kind of wanted to use Levi, but as far as, like, with as the combination with the glitter, Carrie, Carrie wins. Thank you, Amethyst. Yeah, I don't, I don't spend a lot of time in God Home, because it, it can be really frustrating to me when I'm not, like, playing well. But last night, somehow... I didn't, I didn't think I would be able to do that until I got some lifeblood in there. If you do the bindings, you get the little lifeblood thingies um, during the pantheons at the benches. Like a little nook opens up and you get some extra lifeblood in there. Okay, so let me move this real quick. Right now... And of course, this is rough. We would have, you know, top coat on top. I'm loving the silver. And between the golds, I'd say this gold is definitely winning. Like the, the gold hollow uh, glitters. No, that's not a good angle. The gold hollow glitters just go so much better with that gold, I think. But this silver, I feel like the silver is kind of where it's at, you guys. Am I wrong? I gotta, I gotta, I should, I mean, I try to listen to you guys sometimes. A couple of you guys tried to stop me during the other one. You're like, maybe you should stop. I was like, no. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was tough. It was really tough. It was nap ended so soon. That's too bad. Okay. A couple more things I want to test, though. So this test involves, do you want your chair? Hi. Come here. No? Come here. Come here. Well, fine then. Fine then, Benny. So I had two ideas for this and one is like black with the larger silver on top and one is silver on silver. And for the silver on silver, I'm not sure which I'd want in the center, like the smaller one or the larger one. The, lar the smaller one might make sense. But the larger one might actually be kind of epic. 
It's a better application, I think, of that. Or do I want it to be a little bit more sparsy around the edges instead of like this one? I feel like turned out very, yeah, can see it better at that angle. Like I feel like my got, I got my sides very kind of unintentionally straight there. That looks kind of, I like both. I kind of like the messier one and I like the straighter one. So then like, Maybe I should do one more silver test. No. Let's just close our eyes and use visualization powers. No, actually, maybe let's just do one more test. We got plenty of glitter. I should have had it next to that one. Fuck. Oh, well. Can't have things perfect. At least try to make the fuck ups on the sketchbook and not on the nail. Yeah, the sil I feel like the silver is killing it right now. The gold I like too, but the the small gold the small golds aren't really uh I feel like the small golds aren't as hollow as the small silvers. Um okay. You know, these big ones might be, might be a bit much. What if I, can I be a little bit more controlled with them? Maybe I'm giving them too much side and not enough edge. Like what if I make sure they're like a single layer, number one, so I don't pick up too many at a time. And then like, oh, I don't have any. I didn't put down any top coat on the one that I was about to aim for. Okay, please, please get off um, the center of this. Like if I try to get the, they, uh, this, that would be really tricky. Like they don't want to cooperate as much as the small ones. They're giving me more static electricity. They're clinging, like they're clinging to the silicone tool at even weirder angles. You see, like I just dipped it in there and we got stuff like completely off the end of the tool. So to then like apply it like down the center, like the smaller silver was. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually even gonna need that third silver swatch. My other thought with the gold, however, also was involving the black and the larger gold, but I'll probably have the same problem, but maybe if I, hmm, okay, hold on. I just want to see how this looks. Oops, beanie hairs. Get out of here, beanie hairs. Okay. Get the black. The thinner of a layer that you have, like just a thin solid layer, I feel like is the better for this technique. Like it picks it up nicer. Okay, that's really probably a little bit wetter than I should be fucking around with it with, but it's just, it's a quick test. It's fine. It's fine, you guys. Okay. So. Then. Like. Oh. I spilled some. I spilled a couple glitters. It's okay. But we spilled a couple. Maybe now we won't need to spill anymore. See, like, these gold ones are a lot more hollow than the other gold. Ooh, 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 rainbows! 
Okay, the larger lids are nicer for, like, just playing like this and just, like, tilting glitter around. Okay, what if I just, like, try to go, like, one at a time? Like, with the corner. Like, wow. I should maybe be using this instead of an orange stick next time I do glitter placement. Maybe. That works really well. Oh, yeah. Did I put some top coat down over here? I don't remember. Come on. Why aren't you sticky? Okay, there we go. Come on. You don't have enough static electricity to you? Is it because you haven't been used? Me. Oops, now I grabbed two. Okay, just only apply one, though. Now you got your static electricity. You got too much of it. God damn it. <laughs> Why is the other one stickier? I don't understand. Okay, there we go. Now it's picking it up better. No, I still don't like these as well, though, because, like, okay, hold on. Like, it's just not, I don't know. I, I mean, I have a medium size of gold glitter also. It's, like, in between these two sizes. I don't know if it's worth trying though. I, sh I should try it. I got the swatches here. It's ready to try. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe it will be that perfect happy medium between the small one that's not hollow and the large hollow one that's not small. Fries in the oven. Mm. Hey crafty. Um, you missed me peeling off not very much of a manicure because there wasn't very much left. And we're working on this testing right here for the manicure that's going to replace that. So not too much. I would guess, I'm a look, but I would guess that I've been going for maybe 45 minutes? 58 minutes, okay. I was going to say an hour and then I was like, nah, it ain't been no hour. But apparently, yeah, it has been an hour. And yeah, I, I really liked the technique I used on that last one, but the finished manicure, I, I posted just the, just the extended today, just the vlog or just the live stream archive. I'm not editing it. I don't want to, and I'm not going to. So I, I kind of considered a nail fail. Not that it was the worst thing ever, but It was bad. It was bad, okay? All right, so. This might have to, okay. Some of them, if they're stuck, like if you just turn it, then it gets a little bit unstuck. Oh, these are almost kind of bigger than I thought. They're almost as big as the Martha Stewart ones. And they don't want, of course, maybe it's this lid. They don't want to, like, lie very nicely in the lid. Um, we'll see how they look, though. Um, can I grab a few? It doesn't even want to let me grab a few. Get on there. 
Yeah, they're not much smaller than that at all. And now you're not this this they're not even wanting to stick to the silicone tool. Even the this shape one. What the heck? Do I need to get some stickiness from the roller? Um Why won't these stick? Are these made out of something different than all the other glitters? What the hell? Um Let's just go back to, or is it this lid? Like even the orange stick is having trouble picking these up. Come on. I feel like this is going on very crooked also, but it doesn't really matter. Whoa. Did I not put any here? Why? Okay. Maybe I didn't put any there. I thought I did. I thought I was working two at a time. <clears throat> yeah it's hard to get like I mean I'm not going for a geode look exactly but that kind of a jaggedy sort of a texture like I'm not even trying to line these up and they're ending up half lined up you know what I mean I mean, that color does go, I think, better. Like, it's it's it shows more of the hollow than the other gold. Although, even that gold, like, under light. Oh, well, of course, you're not. Well, our, the silver is the best. I think, although I'm having trouble catching it at the right angle right now. The small silver. All right, I think that's what we're going to go with like this on oh, my nail do we want to go for now there's there's going to be some leeway here because you only have so much control but do we want to go for um like a more jagged edge or a more straight edge you know what i mean like this one, the sides are kind of jaggedy. This one, the sides are kind of straight. I mean, picture that one with the silver in the middle. Ooh, there's a good shot of the hollow. I kind of like the jaggedy. I think the straight could be cool too. Maybe I should test the straight with the small before I'm done testing. That would be smart, huh? Imagine being smart. <clears throat> yeah I mean I don't know that I'm necessarily going for like fireworksy of course the other question is can I keep it can I maintain a neat straight application actually that turned out pretty good I'm just filling a couple little spots there and then this is the one i spilled some of now we only got that much in there but we ha i mean we have more it's not like that's all that's left for the whole manicure that's maybe a, of course i'd need to work about that narrow on my nail so i really got to be mindful of the placement for the silver Try to keep that right up the center. Hmm. I think I'm liking the jaggedy a little bit more. Plus, because it allows me to keep... The jaggedy allows me to keep the black somewhat skinny while still having some, like, poking out at the sides. Well, the skinnier one, I feel like you don't end up seeing very much of the black. You know what I mean? So we're going to do this one. So let's, let's put away glitter. This has other glitter spilled in it. Fuck. 
Okay, we're going to have to get rid of you. Sorry. Whoa. Okay, so that can go away. Um, in there. Let's, let's actually move this all together. Um, gold. Let's, okay. That's the smaller gold. This is the larger gold. Okay. Funnels for the win. Um, then we have this one, the larger gold. Okay. Accomplished. I don't want to just throw that back in there. It's too small. You're lost. Um. The smaller gold. Ooh, popcorn. Ooh, that would be tasty. Benny, why'd you decide to go snooze over there, man? They must have got some top coat on them. Okay. So, ooh. Put these over here. Um. And then let's take care of this. Oh, I was hoping it would just pick it all up in like one go. <laughs> Good enough. I mean, there's going to be glitter all over by the time I'm done. Um, also, this napkin, I think you need to be folded in among your, uh, against yourself carefully. Oh, God, am I going to remember that there's glitter inside of this napkin? Spoiler, probably not. Ooh, maybe I should... Oh, I'm smart. Let's write myself a note on the napkin glitter says the note you guys can vote in chat right now will the note prevent me from forgetting <laughs> okay so we're gonna do Trixie with black and silver glitter we're gonna use this to stick it we're gonna top it with sesh -vite. We're going to use a hollow taco peely base. A little tiny vial. <laughs> little tiny dollar store vial. In such like nice co nice company. We got the hollow taco. We got Zoya. We got Sesh V. We got this little tiny vial of... <laughs> Maybe I should do like that. You can't read that, though. What if I balance it up there? That looks weird. There's no good place to put this in my artistic manicured layout. Maybe I should just do like this. 
and then like this, and then like that. Hmm? Is this pleasing to you guys' eyes? You're going to be looking at this for about five minutes while I take a bathroom break. <laughs> mm. Oh, Sun's on a food break anyway, and so is Amethyst. If anybody else needs a food break, now would be the time. Get your food and get ready to sit back and, and watch glitter. Um, let me find... Oh, you're back. You just ate. <laughs> well then... Um, I, I, I don't get to eat until after stream, of course. Um, okay, so I'm going to go real quick, take a bathroom break before we get started, because that's what smart people do. Um, and since it's still the holiday season until New Year's, I'm going to, oh, also, I didn't even say hi. Hi, ref. Hi. Ref. I beat Absolute Radiance last night. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes it be like that. FFZ is sketchy. BTTV also. Like last night, I couldn't see my holidays. Yeah, I know. Cause I mean, you were up late, and you. I'm sure you probably had to get up way earlier than me. I didn't intend. I didn't intend to like stay up and beat her. But I unlocked her, and then I was like, well, we gotta go, we gotta go see, right? And so we went, and then, like, I kind of, like, it felt good. And then I got really close a couple times. I was like, okay, look, I just need to, like, one more try. It was one more try for, like, an hour. <clears throat> and then I beat her, and then I yelled really loud, and that's probably what's wrong with my voice right now. Mmm. Oh, and you're back with your fries already. Hey, Poisonous. And Poisonous is coming in. Anybody that's just coming in, I really apologize. We're almost about to start. But before we do that, I have to pee. So listen to Jingle Bells Calm by Kevin MacLeod. And, and talk amongst yourselves. And look at the shiny things. And I will BRB. Thank you for your patience.
perfect fucking timing. Okay. <laughs> Chipotle ketchup. How spicy is your Chipotle ketchup? You'd love to know what you're craving. Yeah, it's snowing here today too, son. Not not going out weather. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm excited about this. I rushed a little bit. I'm out of breath. No, it's fine. So, I am not a big spicy fan. I feel like, I feel like I need a dose of sugar. So let's have a grape airhead while we clean our nails. Hmm. Hmm. Smells like Kool Aid. Mm -hmm. It was raining here yesterday. So, underneath all that snow is definitely ice. Mm. Guys, I want to be a little bit closer, maybe. Not that much closer. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Hmm. Well, I mean, you ran Anime Rando on Friday. I honestly think it's too bad that they're not cooperating with each other yet. Um, and I wonder, like, I wonder what changed between 3.0 and 3.0 beta that that's making it not work together because it's a shame you can't do both the whole time you were doing that rando i kept being like oh you're forgetting the and then i was like oh it's not a super junk pit though so yeah i don't know i mean i'm kind of inclined to say super junk pit because you haven't done a super junk pit this weekend you did an enemy rando you did a 106 which congrats on your pb again but you have not done a super junk pit yet. And super junk pits are fun. Or if you want, if you like, if you wanted to stick some more entertainment and or slash challenge, might I recommend area rando? I didn't say room rando. I just said area rando. I just, I'm always trying to get more people to play those because they're fun to watch too, I think. And like nobody else plays them for me to watch. If I want to see one, like I gotta do my, gotta do it myself. Luke, I was so happy when Luke did one the other day, and I got to see almost the whole thing. But usually, I don't think he has bandwidth for that in his schedule. Although I'm not sure if Luke has tried Area Rando. I wonder. I'll have to remember to ask him. I don't think he has. But he's done Room Rando a couple times, man. Airy, I mean, Airy Rando can be as debate as Room Rando. I would say connected Airy Rando. Well, I've never played one of those, to be honest. Oh my God. It's almost kind of like both of them stuck together. Luke is doing a Room Rando right now? What? What? When did you start? How did I not know this? Was it, well, I was watching caters before I started streaming while I was getting dressed, but I didn't see Luke on. Hmm. 
Well, damn. Now we have an extra added incentive to hurry the fuck up. Wait, I can't. Can't. Can't be chewing like this in the tutorial. Hold on. That's <laughs> mm. what multi stream is for. Man. Okay. There's there's hours of fun to come if he's doing room rando. But the thing is, I wanted to suggest to him that the next time he do room rando, he let me map for him. And if I'm missing the first two, three hours of the stream, I can't do that. That's why I'm sad. I mean, I'm also sad that I'm missing Luke's stream, but I really, I thought I was like a collaborative, a coll I would love to do a collaborative room rando where I just map and somebody else just runs. Like that would be super cool. I feel like, I don't know. <clears throat> Gosh, the patch is looking wonky. That's why I've got this uh, like white spot here. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't look so janky for the tutorial. There, we gotta move quickly <clears throat> before it fully dries. Starting out with clean dry nails, I'm going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Holo Taco Peely Base. You can use whichever is your personal favorite. Okay. I gotta decide what I'm doing tomorrow too. What do you what do you guys think? Should I just play some Hollow Knight? Should I do something? different or special I don't know I'm tempted to like pull them up on the TV or something I mean I'd probably have to mute him I guess but I could still <laughs> like yeah like yeah I just gotta watch somebody else stream while I'm literally actually streaming addicted much have that on my strange addiction. I'm addicted to Twitch. I can't not have a Twitch stream on. There's probably somebody like that. I really do like having streams on as background noise, but not hopefully to an addictive point. <laughs> <clears throat> Rumpy Pompey. <pompy. laughs> Maybe that's not a bad idea. Maybe it's not a bad idea. I kind of want to do a 106. Because wouldn't it be sweet to get a 106 PB before the new year? But I also don't know that that's compatible with uh, holiday adult beverages. Like 106 should pretty much be approached relatively sober-minded. Cause it's hard. There's a lot of shit to remember. There's a lot of shit to execute. I don't know if this wore poorly, the, the previous one, because of the glitter or because I just failed to wrap my tips very well. So I'm going to try and be very mindful of my tips um, with polish and with top coat on this one. And hope that we can get a couple days out of it. I don't want I don't want Peely's already popping off when we're streaming tomorrow night. Excuse me, we being me. Okay. Don't drink in one oh six. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I wonder if it'd work out to do an afternoon one oh six run and then switch over to something else in the evening. Am I organized enough to fit in that much gaming? <laughs> mm. Maybe. 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 Almost dry here. 
<sighs> okay, so anybody else? We have we have a vote for Rumpy Pumpy. I mean, there are other things we could do. I have several games in my in my library in both Steam and in Epic because Epic gives away free games. So even though they're kind of ass, I would like free things. I mean, there's no time frame and it hasn't been that long. It's it's only been since. Mm. I was going to say last race night, but I didn't participate last race night, did I? <laughs> Okay, race night before last, maybe the last successful two streams in one day. It's harder when one is nails and one is games, because I never know how long a nail stream is going to take. We we had to take a 20 minute time out just to clean up that gel polish. Like that was not accounted for in my in my guesstimation of time this evening. I was thinking about streaming again tonight. Although like now that I look at the time and now that I look at the fact that Luke is streaming and I want to watch a room rando that I'm not running... Maybe I'll... Okay, look, if I don't stream tonight, then I can get to bed early, and then I can get up early, and then I can do two streams tomorrow. See? Yeah. No, well, and really, that was because it was 12 days of Christmas. If it hadn't been 12 days of Christmas, I would have put in a simpler nail art that would have, you know, given me enough time to also race. But I didn't want to shortchange 12 days of Christmas just for race night tempting though it was i mean i love race night race night is race night is fun but i i can't i can't just put nail art in the back seat for it okay look luke manages to do these like extremely fast <laughs> i don't know how he does it with that with an abbreviated map in under 12 hours if he started an hour ago, he won't go past, like, probably 6 a.m., and that's, like, okay for me. That's not late for me, unfortunately. <clears throat> for my base color today, I'm going to be using Zoya Trixie. Six o'clock is a reasonable hour to get to sleep now. And isn't that just a little bit absurd? I've got another bottle of Trixie somewhere that I feel like maybe I should have dug out because this one is a little bit half empty. But we're going now. Okay. We will need two coats of this to get opacity, which is fine. I don't think we'll really need to wait in between doing things. We'll be able to just move right along. Well, the other day, like, I was up until 10 a.m., and that was a little bit absurd. Like, I understand that. Ideally, I think I'd like to get myself back to, like, 4. Because that means I can get a full 8 hours and still get up at, like, noon. Which, for noon to be early, I'm sure also sounds absurd, but, like... That's fine. Really, if I really wanted to be on what I would consider an early schedule, it would be going to bed at like 2 and getting up at like 10. I just, I'm not a morning person. I'm really not a morning person. As far as a time to wake up. <laughs> yeah, 12 minutes of sleep. And it would have been later, honestly. If if my internet hadn't gone out, I would have tried to finish that room rando. And given what we know now, 
the fact it took me another five hours that if I had stuck it out, that means I would have gone to bed at 3 p.m. I don't know if I would have allowed myself to do that. I thought I was close when I when I stopped. I thought that the progress was going to be in Kahlo. Maybe when the progress was, in fact, not in Kahlo, I would have been smart enough to call it. This is like the perfect silver. It is a perfect silver. Like there are many perfect silvers. Like there's perfect chrome silvers. This is a perfect like metallic silver. Whoa. Almost nudged the bottle right over there. Okay. My brain is just thinking about... I, I mean, I guess I could start talking about it out loud, too. That's what I usually do. But, like, how am I going to maintain an even amount of scatter with the black? I guess I'm going to just have to be mindful. I mean, it's going to have to do a little bit, too, with how I apply the clear. Maybe I can almost, like, add some little flares out to the clear. A lick of prayer and a promise. Wait, what is the lick for? Hmm. I've never heard that one before. Some polishes, this is kind of one of them. It looks so thin on the second layer, or on the first layer, you almost wonder if even two layers will be enough, but then it's fine. I don't know if I could pick like a a single favorite polish but if I had to make like maybe a top 10 list I think Trixie would probably be on it because it works good for nail art too I can't remember if I've ever stamped with this but if it stamps also then that would be like the trifecta the nail, the nail trifecta. The broken edge. I'm worried about that break now. I wasn't worried about it before. No clue what it's for. Just part of the same. Google, Google to the rescue. No. <laughs> Um, let's do a super quick cleanup. I had pretty decent application. <clears throat> Be careful not to wipe acetone directly on my note, my napkin note. It cleans up well too. Like it doesn't leave a bunch of shimmer behind itself. Jiffy Trip? 
Is that like a gas station? Do they do they have like those uh, gas station hot dogs? I mean, that would kind of explain it in a horrible sort of a way. To go foods in a speedy atmosphere. I don't know what's for dinner either. Like, I've had leftovers a couple times, and they were pretty good, but I don't want any more leftovers. Excuse me. <clears throat> Bedtime zebra, thanks for stopping in. I hope you sleep well. I keep feeling like it's Sunday too. I was about to wish you a good week. I mean, still have a good week. But like tomorrow's not Monday. It's Monday right now. Wow. Monday now and tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Did I? I must have dinged that a little bit. There. You'll never know. It's fine. Ooh, pizza sounds good. I don't have any pizza, though. I don't think. Maybe I do. Ooh. Sometimes there's a there's a, a rising crust pizza. And, like, it, it really does. Like, the crust really does rise a lot. You end up with a lot of crust. Which, generally, I'm not a fan of pizza crust. But sometimes, if I'm in the mood for, like, bread... Like, it's decent crust, but, you know, I'll make the pizza, and then for the crusts, I'll make up, like, a brown sugar maple syrup dipping sauce type of situation. Mmm. I wonder if I have one of those in the freezer. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. I got alcohol on my pants and they left a mark. Ew. I mean, it's not dirty, but it's just like, you know, that wet ring that wet things leave behind. Okay. Mm, shiny, shiny. They're a little brighter than the uh, webcam is picking up. Hmm. Gosh, they really look chromey there, don't they? Bling, bling, bling. Okay. So, we got a shitload, plenty of glitter. We're going to need some more of the silver. Carefully. Whoa. Whoa. This glitter too, you know, when we were glitter placementing it. Glitter placementing, is that a thing? We kind of noticed that there's a lot of small pieces that aren't like full glitter. Oh. oh. I think that's going to actually be a benefit in this particular nail art. You guys. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so that that's going to be all in my nails. All all of that. Where where's Dino? Dino? I'm sorry, I could just sit here and do this all day. Okay. <clears throat> um Yeah, 
let's make sure this is ready. This can probably go like over here. And yeah. <clears throat> probably won't need that again. This can go up there too. We already used this. That can go up there. <clears throat> Once I've got my base color applied, I've got two kinds of glitter, a black and a holographic silver. I'm going to be starting with the black and using Zoya Naked Glossy Seal as the adhesive. I want something that doesn't dry too quick so that we can keep it wet and sticky while we're applying the glitter, obviously. And I'm going to work about two nails at a time and paint pretty much down the center, leaving some silver at the sides. We still want that to be able to peek through. But basically laying a track for the black glitter then I'm going to be using a silicone tool to apply it with and kind of almost stamping it on, picking it up with the tip and then kind of just applying it on like that. Okay. Whoops. A little bit of glitter spray everywhere. Okay. I feel like I don't have super great coverage here. Like maybe I almost need a second coat of the black. I'm not doing very good at keeping it scattered either, but ooh, it's looking good, right? Right? Oh my God. I'm so nervous now because the last one didn't really turn out. Now I'm nervous about this one. Again, trying to keep it somewhat off the tips. feel like hmm we'll do these two next I feel like maybe I need a little bit of touching up with the black I don't know I should have tried flaring out the top coat a little bit like I said which I forgot about until I realized how straight I was applying these. Ooh, that was a clumpy, clumpy application. Oops, so was that. Get off of there. Sorry, I'm, con I'm concentrating on glitter coverage here, you guys. Uh, I, I apologize for ignoring chat. Should I add some more black? Do I want it more opaque than this is the question. I don't know. Like if I'd kind of 
No, I don't think. It's, it's too hard to see where I'm, like, flaring it. Of course, maybe I should be, like, doing like this. No, that would be too wide on most of the nails. I think. When I when I do a manicure that I don't like, it's like then it makes me paranoid that I'm going to make other avoidable mistakes in the next manicure. Yeah, I've never heard of them. I feel... Okay, let's... Where's the... We were more opaque on the test. That, that topish one. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to be mindful of it. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to just, like, a couple places. Kind of add it on. Where I feel like it's just a little bit too sparse. Just a couple spots, you guys. I'm trying not to oops. <laughs> trying not to oops. It's accurate. can get out of there though. I'm kind of taking where it's already gone and using that to kind of spread it out a couple more little areas. Does that make sense? And yes, there is glitter literally flying everywhere on my desk. But it's okay, because we, we have a thing when we get done. A sticky thingy. One a little bit more like right there. Please stick there. There we go. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What was that about a hooker? <laughs> hmm. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Get all this off of here. Got the uh, lint roll over here. Yeah, we've still got silver at the sides. And we've got enough room for the silver to be pretty solid in the middle. You know, can I just... I'm going to get way too... I shouldn't get this picky with it. That fit just felt like it needed a little bit more, though. Hmm. Whoa, that was a blurb. What do you guys think? I should stop, shouldn't I? Stop, Clint! Get these couple off the edge. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Okay. I mean, I think I would have to object to that if I live there. Like, look, okay, you're not funny. Good deal, son. Okay. I don't know why I'm even trying to get the glitter off my hands yet. <clears throat> Alright, we've still got a pretty goodly amount of black out here. I'll, st I'll stick with that for the second hand. Alright, goal for the second hand is to like keep it similar whoa what do we what happened here what happened here um get off you're not supposed to be there what the fuck I mean, obviously, I must have, like, rested this hand directly in some glitter while it was still wet enough to stick. I'm trying to just get some of... Well, the, this pinky's gonna be fucked. Basically, that pinky's just gonna have to be that way. <laughs> yeah, I bet... I guess money would make anybody be like, well, I guess I'm a hooker. What? That came out wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, that's definitely farther to the side than I would have gone. Okay, this is kind of awkward left-handed, but uh, it's not too bad. Okay. Okay. 
fill in the bottom here. Not quite similar density. I'll probably have to go back and do like a second little touch up like I did on the first hand to get it that dense. That's what I think. Or experiment more with an uneven top coat layer. Then we'll do the silver, then we'll do some top coat, and then we'll be done. Okay, I'm thinking about food because you guys have been talking about food and because I haven't eaten yet. And because I was planning on eating like a snack after stream last night, but I went so late that I in fact had no treat or no snack. I guess a snack is a treat also. But uh, now I'm just like, I'm thinking of all the snacks that I wish I could have had last night and but realizing also at the same time that they are not within themselves dinner. So, like, what am I having for dinner? Is the question. Okay, trying to... Like I said, if you have a real thick, like a thickly packed, but thin, like, single layer, that's how, it, that's the easiest way to get them to, like, pick up nicely seems to be okay few little touch-up spots and then we'll go on to the next color I already said that didn't I Maybe, you know, I've had this realization before after like one good night of sleep that one good night of sleep does not make up for several not good nights of sleep. Like you wake up and you think you're like amazingly well rested, but actually you've only just like taken the first steps to being well rested. That's, that's how I feel right about now. So, I also, I realized I never finished saying something I started talking about earlier, because I am not smart. I forgot. Like, I was thinking of maybe doing Celeste or Meat Boy. Luke did a Meat Boy playthrough, and it was quite highly entertaining. I've never played Meat Boy. Ninja, Ninja speedruns nin Meat Boy, or he used to. Um... So maybe I would lure lure Ninja to come see me. Um, and then I've also got Celeste, which is like a really fun, cool looking little game. Platformer. I don't know. And then part of me is just like, no, fuck all that. Just have a cozy Hollow Knight night. Like always. But then it's like, I don't know. Eating you. <laughs> what do I have in the house for cooking? I mean, like, I've got a few things. I went to the store on s yesterday. Yeah, I went to the store yesterday. Got eggnog and other important things. <laughs> mm.
I don't know, I didn't, like, specifically buy any meal fixings, but there's, like, I mean, there's regular stuff in the house. There's some frozen things in the house, although I didn't get, like, frozen pizza, so if there's a frozen pizza, it's, like, a rather the elder one. Like, down in the, you know, in the chest freezer somewhere. Lost and half forgotten about. Um, I mean, I do have nacho fixings. Of course. Um... got some pierogies i feel like i just had pierogies but that was actually quite a while ago can't believe it's like monday after christmas and christmas has already happened and like new year's is almost here i feel like it was just last weekend like a couple days ago not the weekend that just ended like the last last weekend Okay. Okay, that's kind of packing on there weirdly, but Poe little right thumb. It's looking pretty good. You don't care if your glitter's a little bit uneven, do you? Nah. Nah. You can roll with anything, Poe little right thumb. Okay, so. Oops, that created more of a mess than I planned on. It didn't actually end up much in the cup, did it? <clears throat> okay. Um, we got these pressed fairly smooth. There's a couple little chunky spots, but for the most part. Let's maybe even just give these like a quick rub like that. Any loose, like fully loose ones. Yeah. See, tech like a small bit of texture, but not like any sticking, sticking up weirdly. Okay, good. Oops, got a few black glitters in there, but it's fine. Um, let's clean off the tool. There we go. Let's rinse off the tool. Let's wipe off the tool. <laughs> tool, why you take so much maintenance? Oops, dang it, some of the water glitter got on there. Oh no, some of the finger glitter got on there. Now we gotta do the whole thing over again. Fuck. Let's get rid of the finger glitter. Mostly. There. All right. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, better. That's better. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, I need to clean. Like, I've basically been on vacation mentally since i finished the 12 days of christmas and they're still just everywhere mm, this is so pretty dun, 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 dun. okay <clears throat> Sorry, that was bugging me. <clears throat> if after your first pass there are any places you feel like need more glitter, just add a little bit more top coat or clear polish and add more glitter. And now I'm going to move on to the silver hollow glitter. And I'm going to apply this top coat right up the center of the nail in the middle of the black, making sure to leave some black on the sides without top coat. You don't want to cover up the whole thing. Just make an accent. And I'm going to do that for all my nails. Hmm. 
like it's a little tricky because the black is like textured so it doesn't like go on smoothly it's fine though this will be good this will be cute Hmm. It's going to be really good after top coat, I'm pretty sure. I might add even a second layer of the silver just to really get it to to pop out. Ooh, the hollow is showing up really well on the tutorial camera. Which makes me happy because that was half the problem with the other one. The things just weren't looking proper. If I'd liked it though, I probably would have like not minded that as much. I would have just you know, made sure to be a little bit more descriptive knowing that it, that it wasn't showing off to its full potential. Now, should I add more, a second layer of glitter? sharp in a couple places it's a couple like standing up at weird angles mm, the glitter more hollow A little bit more hollow. I went ahead and did a kind of wide swath there so that it can kind of maybe help smooth some of this out. But I'm still going to try and keep the silver right in the middle. So more here. Ooh, that's a chunky piece. There. Definitely at the tip. A little bit right like there. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm trying to be really mindful that I don't like place this outside of the center line since I added extra top coat beyond beyond where I'm beyond where I'm placing whoa Some of these are standing up a lot. Sit down. Sit down, glitter. Mm. 
yeah some of these too it's like I, they're, they're very sparse at a certain point like they're okay at some point but they're like sparse at the tip or sparse near the cuticle Hmm. <laughs> okay, not mad about that extra hollow at all. Dinah would be so proud of me. Okay. This has very much geode vibes, although that was not really the intention. And I see some spots where like, I almost feel like I should go back and add a little bit of black, like right, right there. I feel like, I don't know, but I'm not gonna. Excuse me. Yeah, we've already had so much snow here, Amethyst. If the rest of the winter is also snowy. I mean, I think we're like already hitting records and stuff. Um, for like wettest season and that type of stuff. So. We're definitely going to need some actual proper flashlight time on these. Some phone flashlight time. Am I going to need more than this? I might need a little bit more than that. Let's carefully... carefully pour us ourselves out some more oh i just can't get over out of how pretty it looks like on the lid oh 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 so good <clears throat> okay same thing start out with a careful skinny line and then another line to kind of helpfully fill in and smooth out I mean, I'm almost definitely also still going to need two coats of top coat. I mean, that's not going to negate the two coats of top coat. But because I did, whoa, shaky hands. Because I did two layers of the black, it's already like a little bit chunky and we're overlapping this one. Okay. Stay stay where you're supposed to stay here, glitter. In the middle. In the middle. Oh, the sparse one. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, huh? The sparse one is pretty too. But I think it's better with more. What are you going to be doing on yours, Amethyst? I mean, good things and bad things both come in threes, right? 
And this is the second good manicure today, so you can be the third good manicure. Cater's also had a good manicure today. Really cute black and gold for uh, for New Year's. And if you'd like to check out that content, the VOD is available over at twitch.tv slash caters. With only one S. <laughs> it still catches me just a little bit off every time. It's like, wait, is this an imposter caters? No, it's the real caters with the real caters name now. <laughs> po little right thumb not so po little today you cute just like everybody else po little right thumb you cute Okay. Ooh, okay, that sounds really ambitious, but also really cool. You coming over here, Bane? He's stirring. You wanna come over here? He's like, nope. All right, well, that was kind of a lot, even for intending to glom it on slightly. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I wish if the gold hollow, the small gold glitters had been as hollow as these small silver glitters, we probably would be doing the gold and black version right now. But I felt like the hollow just wasn't wasn't paying off as strongly and I wanted it to be really blingy for New Year's and nothing is blingier than hollow I'm pretty sure Art Deco seems kind of made for nail art. Like the shapes, the shapes are very flattering to the nail, I feel like. Hmm. That one kind of got a bit much, but it's okay. It's weird to think about 2020 like, I still remember fucking, you know, Y2K and shit. Like, how are we in 2020? I mean, we're not in it yet, but like, how are we about to be in it? Time really does fly. We're playing the music roulette with Dr. Crotron. 
and one of his picks was the Final Fantasy XI like intro and I was like wow blast from the past and then like sat and thought and realized about how actually long ago it was like wow Okay, just Poe Lil write them. Okay, can I please get a decent pickup here? Whoa. A decent pickup for Poe Lil write them? Is that a no? You just done picking up stuff today, silicone tool? Why do I feel like I'm struggling with this? Like it suddenly doesn't want to pick anything up. Let me get some of this excess off of it. Maybe we can plan stuff for the next 10 years. But, but will you? Will you actually be that organized amethyst? If you are, I'm super impressed. If I can just get organized for like maybe the next week, I'd be happy. I feel like Polo Write Them is not quite getting the glitter everybody else did. Because I'm just having trouble picking it up right now for some reason. But meh. If I can just get a couple more like on the tip here, I'll be happy. Okay. Okay. Everything is smooth as I think it's going to get. Mostly. Maybe I should get a new napkin. <laughs> Maybe this will be a, a half-used napkin. Let me get my, my fingers. And then, like, at least part of this. I almost certainly will need a new roller, but that'll be enough to not at least get it everywhere. Yeah, student goal, su student loans are whew, oofta. Okay. No super weird catchy spots. No gloms at the tip. Kind of like at this point too, it's dry enough that I can press on it pretty firmly, but it's not fully dry. So I'm pressing these like deeper into each other and into that thick layer that I did put down. And we've really gotten pretty smooth here. So... <clears throat> Tips are good. All right. So sweet. Yeah. Excuse me. <clears throat> I went ahead and touched up with the silver like I touched up with the black and now I'm going to finish with a couple coats of top coat and as usual I'm using sesh feet. Mm, that one little glitter there I don't I don't want to seal that in maybe I can move that 
Wish I'd got that before I started. Oh well. And I'm trying to go, I mean, I always kind of go slow with top coat because it's just like that satisfying top coat feeling. But especially here to try and minimize any air bubbles. Because as flat as I tried to make them, like there is some unevenness and that can lead to air bubbles in the top coat. If you're just like rushing and stroking over the lumps really fast. So trying to keep my keep myself going slow and steady. So looking really good with top coat. Can you guys the difference is not super clear on camera. Might even, you know, even though these are silver because there is the black in there, I might need to do a little bit of black background for you guys. Definitely need to do some flashlight time. Hmm. And last time, it really did work quite well to let this set, like not to rush the second layer of top coat. Because I really did manage to get that last one very smooth. This little guy here. Fucking A. Uh, there we go. There. Other coat of top coat will, will fix that right up. <clears throat> yeah i'm trying to like i don't know i try to not wait until the new year to like shape up you know but i feel like it just it ends up being a good time because it's the start of a new year which just like gets gets in your head mentally as a good time to start stuff but it also is like right after the holidays which is like a lot to deal with on its own and after you're done you kind of need to like get back to normal but it's a good time to create a new normal if that makes sense got a little there mm. Yeah, I just I just need to get organized. More organized. I am I'm more organized than I was. I need to be continually more organized. Like that has been a running resolution for me for the last several years. You know, and finding what works for you. Like it's not just like there's one way to be organized that works for everybody. Like you got to find what works for you i know that having actual deadlines helps me i need to figure out how to make manufactured deadlines work for me do you know what i mean like 12 days of christmas okay i got a deadline it's a self-imposed deadline but it's a deadline I kind of, I kind of still wish that there were a couple spots that the black was a little bit more, um, scattered -y at the edges and like solid. I'm kind of frustrated with how these are showing on camera also, to be honest. T TBH. I'm also not like super thrilled with how the camera's white balance is behaving right now. That's better. Let's just leave it there. And I never did turn back on the autofocus, so let's see if we can get it to... <sighs> to, like, fool it into... To You have to, like, fool the camera into letting you see what's going on. Wow. 
Why camera? Two seconds of, of focus is all that you guys get. I'm sorry. No, let's let me turn the manual back on. Oh, wait, where to go? I was. That's better. What do you guys think? I like these years better than the other ones. I, I still wish that it translated a little better on camera. <clears throat> um, so I got a peely here. It's a, it's a gradient of glitters. It's a gradient of three colors of glitter. And you can't really see that there's more than one color of glitter there. And it just made me sad. And then it all peeled off anyway. So, where where did I set that focus level? Here-ish. So we're doing this. We did this instead. Lurking, not working. Yeah, so I just, I was very disappointed with how it came out. I like this a lot better. I still feel like it doesn't translate. Glitter, glitter in general is really difficult to, like, get to show properly on video. Yeah, like it looked, it was like it looked like the testing, but it also didn't look like the testing. So yeah, I just, by the time I was finished, plus there was a point where when I just did the first color and it was down the center of the nail and it looked really cool. And Dinah was like, you should stop there. I was like, I'm not stopping there. And then by the time I was done, I was like, I should have stopped there. <laughs> Oh, that's not cool, but at least it lets you know. But yeah, I think this one, let me hold on again. Can I, there, that's, manually focusing is hard, you guys. I'm gonna get that other layer of top coat on there. And then I think these are gonna be really good. We've got this, this sh hollow down the center the black is pretty scattered. It's not it's not as scattered as this very first test. And I think my silver went a little bit wider than this also. This act or maybe it's just that there's more silver on the sides of that cuz it's a slightly too wide test paint. I feel like okay. I'm not complaining. And partly it's probably that it's, you know, Round versus flat, too. Why is the test cuter than my manicure? It, it basically translated, though. Basically. Partly, I think it's still... We got a heavier dose of black on there. Like, there's still some very sparse black parts on my nail. But we got... We got the, the hollow test down the center. Like, also part of it is just like the camera. Like the camera is making it, like what What are you doing to my skin tone right now, camera? Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that test is what we did. And it was kind of the same thing. It's like, it looks like this, but then it also doesn't look like this. And then like here are the ones from yesterday. Yesterday, Saturday. And that's the one we ended up doing. And on here, I mean, it's hard to see on here, but I feel like you can see it better than on the Peely. And then this was over gold. And I still kind of feel like that one turned out better on there. Man, I think it's partly the curve. Like, because this is flat, the silver is catching that angle, this angle that it gets at the side when you really can see the brightness from the top. So that is part of it. I should, I should just start practicing on swatch sticks but then what am I going to do with all those like I like having my nail art sketchbook like I like being able to go back and page through old nail art and stuff um 
Do I want to let this dry a little bit more? Yeah, I feel like this needs a little bit more dry time. So I'm not going to do that on stream. I'm going to do that off stream. Loose fake, loose fake nails. How do you, how do you storm then amethyst? Let's see what's going on. Although I'm pretty sure I know where we're going. Yeah, we've missed a big chunk. Yeah, he started like a little bit more than 10 minutes before I started. Luke, no. It's the worst part about streaming is having friends that stream and missing their stream. Like, it's fucking, oops. Talk about first world problems. Like, I couldn't watch my friends stream because I was streaming. Oh my God. <laughs> This is not a problem, but it's, I mean, it, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I have so much fun streaming. I have so much fun watching stream also. A lot of you guys probably know the feels. So thank you for hanging out. I need to figure out what's for dinner. If you would like to join my discord, if you're not already in it, please feel free. I'm, I'm five times happier with this than I was with the other one, but I'm not like, thrilled oh flashlight time flashlight time before i get a raid started hold on here hold it on here maybe this will like make us all like it better hello flashlight why why do i feel like this is not the most satisfying flashlight time I feel like the other flashlight was actually doing better, which is weird because usually this flashlight's a piece of shit. See, this one is too intense in the dark. This flashlight with the ring light on was actually doing better than the camera flashlight with the ring light off. That's backwards. Of course, wait a minute. Hold on to. Where did this? Can we get, can we get out of focus? Now you're getting more of the rainbows. Uh, I'm five times as happy with how it turned out, but only half is not pissed off with how it's recording. That's how I feel about that. Negotiations. Just tell him that you poisoned his dinner and if he wants to live, he's going to have to take these meds. So, you guys, I'm going to write us over to Luke. Luke is doing a room rando. Um, it's already after eight. I haven't eaten. I haven't cooked. I don't even know what I'm cooking. My dreams of streaming this evening are probably not going to come to fruition. Plus, I want to watch Luke. But I will be streaming tomorrow. I may be streaming tomorrow afternoon. I will definitely be streaming tomorrow evening. And uh, if you need somewhere to hang out on New Year's Eve, I hope you will consider joining me. I don't know what's going to be going on yet, but I will uh, I will let you know in the aforementioned Discord. And this is what happens when, when the focus is turned off and things are too shiny. Um, just It's just going to refuse, isn't it? That thumb looks really good. Right thumb, right thumb is like, or left thumb is like the opposite of polo right thumb. Polo right thumb's like, left thumbs like if that makes any sense but um yeah i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening afternoon or morning wherever you are and i hope i will see you next time give luke some good luck um mm. hey i didn't write down what these things were Hey, Colette, with the raid. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> um, come into I'm trying to be a little bit more didn't write it down. My mapping. <laughs> um, of course, if you are watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. I've got two benches tied to the same place. Um, I, know I have my wings. 
<laughs> He's got uh, wings. I've I didn't have wings. Three pages. Um, three tiny pages. Uh, if you want to see I'm the previous manicure, I didn't uh, do a full tutorial, but there That's is the uh, uh, starting area? the stream archive available. Oh, he's showing his map. Uh, I gotta see the map. From Zelda. Oh, it's like a little version of my map. I've inspired him. I, I, I'm so proud of him. <laughs> it's, it's a mess. It's, <laughs> it's more than oh, I'm it's so funny. Right? Anyway, um, nail art, my simple little pleasures. I also do games, which is what I'm distracted with right now. But, um, uh, both, if you would like to join me live are on Twitch at dot TV slash missile P, if uh, that makes I sense. Use, I, I need food I and, um, mail. yeah. To do that, I need to stop streaming and then put on that last coat of top coat and then record an intro and an outro and take pictures and then I'm ready to have dinner. So I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.